Clayton County where an eviction is taking place at a beauty store. Take a look at this. This is the scene from 11 Alive Sky Tracker of the Beauty Mart in Riverdale on Upper Riverdale Road. We're told that the Clayton County Sheriff's Office is right now carrying out an eviction. And as you can see, all of the contents from inside the store are now outside and people have been swarming the area attempting to take some of those items. We have a crew there who tell us more police cars are arriving on the scene and that's been unfolding there for more than two hours, a scene that many are describing as chaotic right now. We are working to gather more information. Stay with us right here on air and online for the very latest here. This has got to be the most embarrassing story I've seen this year. Watching what unfolded in Clayton County, Georgia, South of Atlanta yesterday literally made me sick. It was very much given a scene from Boondocks. The whole time I was thinking this cannot be real, it can't be real, no. Well, it was real. And the real secondhand embarrassment is enough for Sister Bernice to put the whole community on the sick and shut in and have them quarantined for the rest of the year, seriously. The whole Clayton County Sheriff Department on duty responded to a chaotic scene. Dozens of law enforcement officers swooped down on a shopping center off Upper Riverdale Road to control the parking lot where hundreds of thousands of product was dumped outside during an eviction of a once thriving beauty supply store. More on that super ridiculous scene coming up, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. A massive crowd converged on a shopping plaza in Clayton County earlier today. Hundreds showed up to a beauty supply store that deputies had just evicted, hoping to get some free merchandise. Instead, law enforcement swarmed the area and put an end to that. Uh, Fox Eyes' Rob Durienzo is live tonight at that shopping plaza. And Rob, you spoke with Sheriff LaVon Allen. I did. That's exactly right. Good evening to you both. We'll show you what he said in just a moment. But the people I spoke with said they didn't come down here to steal anything. They thought this mountain of merchandise sitting in front of this beauty store behind me was fair game. And then, as time went on, hundreds of people showed up. First it was calm, and then I guess everybody made a phone call, and it got a little out of control, a little like Freak Nick 96. Yes, she said she saw so many people out there just running around. It reminded her of Freak Nick 96. I can't believe she said it. Soon after, Clayton County deputies evicted this beauty supply store off Terra Boulevard, dumping their inventory in the parking lot, a lot of people showed up, hoping to snatch up some free stuff. Wigs, <laughs> braided hair, makeup, lashes, earrings. Instead, Clayton County police, sheriff's deputies, and Riverdale police created a perimeter around the merch. Then they brought in dump trucks and vans carrying incarcerated workers to clean it all up. They had to get the locked up inmates to come clean up the mess because you had the so-called free inmates running wild in the parking lot trying to grab free supplies. When citizens are evicted, things are up for grabs. So we was assuming that the things were up for grabs. And a lot of people we spoke with say that was their impression showing up here too. And as somebody who is in the beauty industry, it definitely would have been helpful. Kids could use the supplies for hair, there's book bags in there, there's shoes in there, because the hair store sells all kinds of things. Georgia law says once a judge issues what's called a writ of possession in eviction cases, deputies can go in and toss out the tenant's belongings. Once it's in the street, those belongings are generally considered abandoned. People get evicted on the street. They're not like this. They don't they don't make sure people's stuff don't get touched when we get evicted. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. These folks are mad at the police showing up to restore order. And this one right here rushed there so fast, she didn't even have time to take the bonnet off her head. Fox 5's I-Team found a judge granted a writ of possession to the store's landlord two weeks ago, which deputies served this past Friday. So I asked Sheriff LaVon Allen why he doesn't consider this property abandoned. And they could do a lot of good with it versus it just going to sit in a dump somewhere. <laughs> Whose property is it now? <laughs> 
And if you couldn't hear too well at the end, it was a little difficult to listen to. Sheriff Allen said essentially uh, that this was the store's property. But meanwhile, these people here really, uh, they had a different understanding of this all. And again, our reading of the state law was that this was essentially abandoned property. Russ? Well, obviously the property has value, but it certainly looked like it had been thrown out like trash. Rob, do we know where those trucks ended up? Where'd they take all that merchandise? And Russ, that, that's a question a lot of people even still have been coming by and asking, where did they put all of this stuff? I want to show you a video that Lovejoy Police posted a little while ago. They say these are these products in the landfill. They say all of those items are being destroyed, telling people not to show up at that landfill, adding they will be monitoring the area. Russ, back to you. So much interest in all of that stuff. Does seem like a waste for it to end up in a landfill. This is absolutely out of order. Then all of that merchandise ended up at the county landfill. The sheriff said the property belonged to the owner, but the crowd who found out about the eviction on social media ran down there to the store and backed up traffic because they thought it was all placed in the parking lot for them. Now, this is what we saw when we got on scene. Wigs, eyelashes, jewelry, and beauty supplies. And again, tons and tons of people. Now, when we arrived, people were continually asking why they couldn't take any of the stuff. Now, with law enforcement throwing yellow tape around that pile while also loading items onto their trucks. Here's how people out here de describe the scene. We like free stuff, so we came out here to get all this free stuff, but then the car saying you can't get the free stuff because the, the people want to take it. it. And how y'all going to take some stuff that ain't even yours? It's free. Did you just hear this baby bot bimbo babble? She said they like free stuff, so they came out there to get something for free. Now, this is the part that got me though. She presented the argument like, how y'all gonna take stuff that ain't even yours? Says the woman who's mad at law enforcement on scene because they won't let her and everybody else take some stuff that's not theirs. You can't make this stuff up, I'm done. So I got my two baskets, I took the bus or whatever, to get down here to get some free stuff. We're already in a recession, times are hard. Why not just let us get the items and invest and be okay? We are black women, we care about our crown. Why not give back to the community and let us get the products? Let us get the, the, the tools, any other eviction. So now you're getting a live look at what's happening now. In the distance, I can see folks throwing those supplies into the dump trucks. Now, just for some perspective, we have been out here for hours, but when we were trying to get out here, traffic was backed up onto 75. One, because there were so many people. And then you add law enforcement was rerouting people, blocking off entrances to the property. It took us more than 30 minutes just to get a half a mile. So a ton, a ton of people wanting to be right here on this parking lot in Riverdale tonight. This story was all over local Atlanta news yesterday. Several news agencies covered this scene. They had news choppers flying around, reporters on the ground, and this story was highlighted on a bunch of Atlanta news stations. Along Upper Riverdale Road in Jonesboro, and Joshua, what does it look like out there right now? Yeah, guys, I mean, a lot of noise going on here right now. You can kind of see what's changed in the last hour is this, this line of trucks. Uh, corrections vehicles, dump truck style vehicles all coming up here. We presume they're going to be loading all of this, uh, all these items from this store, this beauty shop that was located here. Now we have confirmed with the Clayton County Sheriff's Office that this was an eviction that took place this morning. All of this stuff, you can see some of it there was moved into the parking lot this morning when people started to come kind of grab it. We are told that it kind of became chaotic. Some people here said there were between 500 and 1,000 people trying to grab all the stuff. The police moved in. They started uh, kind of blocking it off. We have some video of that from earlier. I don't know if we have it to show you guys, but from helicopter video of all the people grabbing all of that. Uh, it was a wild scene here. However, people here now seem to be even more upset than what's happening now. There's about 40 or so police cars. There's more police than I've ever seen on a scene in my year and a half here in Atlanta. They are all over the place. One resident who lives nearby actually told me that he has never seen anything quite like this. I've counted 42 police cars in this area, and I've never seen this many police, uh, even for a shooting. And uh, I live in the apartments behind this building. We had a we had a uh, shooting a couple of weeks ago, and we had one cop show up. And it just seems odd that, uh, you know, for some merchandise from a beauty mart, you get the entire county police force to come out. 
Sir, it's not just some people at a beauty supply store. Over a thousand people showed up. On top of that, the word was spreading so fast on social media, the traffic was backed up for miles with more people trying to get to the parking lot. Just imagine thousands of hyenas fighting for scraps. You have no clue what was about to happen out there. This was obviously a public safety issue. The sheriff had to hurry up and take control. If they hadn't done that, this would have been the largest crime mob. Nuck if you buck crash out in Georgia history. You got the glee and excitement of getting free stuff mixed with the love of wigs, weaves, and lashes. Governor Kemp would have had to call a state of emergency if the sheriff didn't do something quick. Now, you can see up on the top of that dumpster there, some of the equipment that's already being lowered, excuse me, some of the items that are already being loaded into these trucks. Uh, we had one police officer, we asked him exactly why there was such a large police presence here. He just said they're trying to keep the peace. There's been some back and forth between uh, some people in the parking lot and the police, though right now it's really just been a bunch of yelling, a bunch of talking. Since we've been here, the crowd has dispersed, though, a little bit within the last hour, though, there's still a sizable contingent of people here, and it's... And we're trying to figure out exactly what's going to be happening with all this stuff once the police loaded up. Even last night when the scene was almost clear, you had people still showing up to see if they can get some stuff that was left behind. You can still see a couple of stragglers out here hoping to find some remaining items. That's all been moved away. I don't think they understand how they degraded themselves. This is worse than homeless people digging in the trash for food. At least with the homeless, food is something they need to survive. But these flamingos flocked out here for beauty supplies. But again, this all started over beauty supplies. It started during the eviction. This is what it looked like on the inside. When all the merchandise was moved to the lot. Not the beauty supply store done got evicted. So we out here because they gonna let us get everything from the store and grab whatever we can grab. The parking lot was full. The parking lot was full like 1996 Freak Nick. According to a law enforcement source at the scene, the size of the growing crowd became a safety hazard. And that's the reason why they're like this now, because they couldn't control the crowd. Even if they would have moved the caution tape, it would have been too much of a commotion. As morning shifted into afternoon and the temperatures climbed, it became clear that the Clayton County Sheriff's Office was not going to let people get to the items. It turned into cops basically getting aggravated with the crowd. There was no violence, but bystanders wondered if all this was necessary. I've counted 42 police cars in this area, and I've never seen this many police, uh, even for a shooting. Eventually, people got their answer. Nearly a dozen massive trucks and trailers rolled in, and men with state prisoner jumpsuits began throwing the products into the trucks with the people watching in disbelief. And it just seems odd that, uh, you know, for some merchandise from a beauty mart, you get the entire county police force to come out. Law enforcement on scene did not say where the beauty items were going, but if the video is any indication, the dump. And they didn't exactly say which dump they were taking it to. They just showed that video of the dump and the items being destroyed. They say, don't go and look at dumps and try and find it. They're destroying it. It's not going to be available. Now, we also reached out to the listed store owner of the Beauty Mart, and we did not get a response. That person did not answer. We also spoke to a former employee here at the Beauty Mart. She told us that this used to be a very popular place until about three years ago when the owner passed away. They, she said their children took over and it's kind of just been going a little bit downhill since with a poor economy. The pandemic, the store just hasn't been what it once was and it eventually obviously wound up closing and its items strewn all over the front of this parking lot. But again, it was an intense scene, but there was no violence, just a bunch of loud, somewhat angry and hot people standing by and watching. Reporting live in Jonesboro, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. On one side, you have people so destitute, they will dig through piles of beauty supplies. The optics of this scene alone was just too much for me. I'm telling you, this made me incredibly sad and angry at the same time. The strong independent women was out there with a few broken wrist men, getting mad at black officers led by a black man, directing mostly black prisoners to clean up all the mess. I'm saying though, if you don't see what's going on and how black people continue to set themselves up for this environment, I don't know what to tell you. Then you have this horrible economy under the Biden-Harris administration that's wiping out businesses left and right. They could have had an estate sale full liquidation, or they could have sold the business to another entrepreneur. But to allow all that product and money to go to waste is absolutely crazy.
and the sheriff, they're gonna have to take some accountability as well. Dumping a bunch of wigs and lashes, you should have known better. Not only causing safety issues, but paralyzing other businesses in the shopping center. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. 